I'm super excited to be introducing IMC Next. They are going to be guiding us through introducing the IMC Learning Suite, Europe's leading enterprise learning platform. We have Russell Donders with us who is going to guide us through their demo. He has an awesome accent. So Russell, can you take it away for us today? Thanks, Alexandria. And uh, welcome everybody. And uh, yeah, really excited about showing you the IMC Learning Suite today. So let me start with sharing my screen. And as a bit of an introduction into, into IMC. So yeah, the IMC Learning Suite is our, is our core product. And as the title of the webinar stated, we're Europe's leading enterprise learning platform. Uh, and excitingly now available and now opened in the, in the US. So IMC has been around for over 25 years. We had our 25th year anniversary uh, just last year. Um, and supporting organizations uh, across their global rollouts of, of learning platforms. And why are we Europe's leading enterprise learning platform? So there's a few reasons for that. The one is we focus purely on learning. So our, our core business is the, is the learning function um, and we're really uh, emphasizing that. So we only do learning, but we do learning really, really well. Uh, we invest into the continued innovation of the product, continued evolution of the product. So 25% of all our revenue is reinvested into the, uh, the learning suite, the learning product, um, which brings new features, new functionalities to all our customers on a regular basis. So this finds its way to our customers in the forms of innovation packs three to four times a year. Uh, but I think also uh, one of the main reasons is how adaptable we are to the organization needs. Um, so the system itself is is really, really highly configurable. So it's built from the ground up on a framework of reusability and configurability, which means that it can be adapted in terms of the workflows, the templates, the processes, the roles, whatever have you to meet your organizational needs. Uh, whether that be in the form of multi-tenancy, if you have different organizational units, different groups that need to use a single platform to support different needs, but having a core system architecture underneath it shared, whether it's a centralized or decentralized administrational or ownership concept of the platform, allowing different locations, different functional areas of the business to manage and maintain own catalogs and own users, um, whether it's meeting the needs for both internal and external users. So a lot of our customers use the solution, not just for uh, managing internal training requirements, HR training requirements, but also to deliver learning to external audiences, whether that be customers or dealers, uh, or, or partners or volunteers or whatever the scenario might be with the customer. And then also from a technical perspective, um, we're adaptable to, to different scenarios. So the, the system is built on an architecture that can be hosted on, on any environment, so including on-premise or any of the cloud environments. Um, it can also be delivered in a headless uh, mode, which means that the system can be delivered or the functions of the system can be delivered through your existing apps or websites or portals or, or intranet sites. Um, but don't take our word for it. I think we, we're also recognised globally by different analysts and, and partners as being a leader in our industry. Um, and I think our, our customer uh, history and our customer relationships speak for themselves as well. Uh, with the likes of Lufthansa, which is our very first customer 25 years ago, still our customer today, also expanding the usage of the system through, uh, through their other airline group partners, such as Swiss Airlines and, and, and Brussels Airlines. Um, and the, 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 the likes of Mercedes-Benz, which is a, one of our proudest customers and global customers, where they went through a project to select IMC as their, their single consolidated system to replace 32 existing platforms into one main running global, global platform. And I wanted to start off by giving you a bit of an introduction. To Welcome to the new Learning Link, a user-friendly learning solution empowering you to master your professional challenges. Your learning journey begins with single sign-on via NetStar using your GEMS ID. Alternatively, you can also sign on through the LMS landing page. Enjoy your new learning experience. On your personalized dashboard, you find your current trainings, SOE or tech path, as well as quick links and news, all of which is automatically defined based on your job profile. When you open the catalog, you can easily find the courses that are determined by your specific training requirements. From the catalog, you can both register and launch directly into an e-learning. Finding your specific training and quarterly recertification requirements has never been easier. 
no matter what your career path is. At a glance, you see what is needed for your specific job code under each brand. The new development path includes a comprehensive overview of your individual learning path with recertification due dates, visual status bar, the ability to hide completed courses, and launch courses directly from your development path. The new learning link, a flexible solution with the learner in mind. Focused, easy to use and navigate from anywhere at any time. Great, so I think that gives you a little bit of an idea of, uh, of the power of the system with, with one of our clients. We'll dive a little bit deeper into the demo in, in certain aspects. Uh, but first, just to, to paint a picture of the portfolio that INC offers as part of the learning suite, um, we have as the main main core, the uh, the combined, it's a combination of a learning experience portal, cutting edge learning experience portal, and an enterprise grade learning management system. So you get the best of both worlds uh, together. Uh, we have a range of learning apps and tools that can be plugged in to suit certain uh, training scenarios uh, for various like video assignments, uh, quizzes, et cetera, that can be used within the, within the suite. We have our content creation tools. So that includes our, our new IMC Express, which is using a lot of artificial intelligence to help the content creation process so that subject matter experts and trainers can create quickly and easily award-winning content. And then we have our IMC Studios, which is producing uh, content to digital learning experiences um, bespoke for, for customers, as well as a range of off-the-shelf libraries. Uh, we're also really, uh, really proud of our integration framework, and this is important for most of our customers. Um, so it's not just what's within the platform, but also the extensibility that it can be connected to the other applications within your organization, whether that's your um, HR or ERP or CRM system for, for user management, whether it's existing e-learning content or tools using the standards such as SCORM and LTI and XAPI, um, or it's integrating with, with user management systems and, and identity providers. And of course, we also have our own uh, web services API for connecting to, uh, connecting to different apps and different systems for, for open integration. So I'm now going to jump into the platform and share my browser. Okay, so we will start now the, the demonstration part. So I'm going to log into the platform as a learner to start off with. As you can see, the platform is accessible via any uh, web browser. So as long as you have an internet connection, um, you're able to access it. Uh, as I log into the platform, the system recognizes immediately who I am. So I'm welcome back as Abigail this, this morning. Um, and it recognizes what I was doing last. So I can pick up on the training that I last was undertaking if I haven't completed it. I'm just going to close that down for now. So as I log in, I get now the um, personal dashboard or personal area. So this is really highly tailored to me as an individual. So first of all, based on the credentials and the, the data that the system holds on me, we're able to provide here a personal view on this, both in terms of the content, so the courses and uh, objects that are available within here, as well as the navigation elements, so what functions I have available in the system, um, but also the layout. So we can have different dashboards and different views very different views depending on the audience group. So um, really highly configurable there in that nature. So this particular example has some mandatory training, current courses, recommendations. So there's a recommendations engine behind as well, uh, ability to search for training, and I've saved some things to my bookshelf. Uh, but this is just one example. There can be many different alternatives to this as well. Uh, we have here training. So this training that's available within the platform for me as a learner can be automatically pushed to me. So you can set up training, pass, and plan based on criteria um, that automatically is then triggered and pushing out courses and trainings to, to individuals or groups. Um, it can, of course, be assigned by a, by a manager or by, by an administrator, or we can also provide a self-discovery uh, self journey. So I can come to the catalogue, I can browse and search for training that's accessible to me. Um, you control which users see which training by the access, uh, access controls in the system. But I can come, I can select from the range of meta tags uh, available on the left hand side, or I can do a search to search for training. So if I do a search for first aid, I find out that there's a first aid classroom uh, training available in the system. And by clicking into that further, I then get a synopsis for this course with some key information. And I can even find the available dates. So this example is a, is a classroom session or a webinar session um, where I have specific dates specific locations, and I can also see 
how many places are available on that course should I wish to undertake it. There's a range of approval processes and different workflows behind these that are configurable and can be set up per course. So that might be an approval by a manager or approval by a training coordinator, um, or it might be also uh, a payment process. So we have an integration with Shopify to, to have a cart process to add courses to, to the cart before having them, having them assigned to me. Um, that, so that enrollment process can be as simple or as complex as you, as you like. Once I am enrolled on the course, either via that automatic process or via it being assigned by a manager or via me self-selecting, it then appears on my dashboard. Each of these tiles on the dashboard represents one course in the system. I can see here, for example, this cybercrime time course. I'm currently 25% of the way through. I can see key information like the due date, as well as whether it's a mandatory and, and the type of training. Behind each of these courses, we can click into them. So if I click in now to the Cyber Crime Time course, we can then get access to what we call the course room. And this is where the learning really happens. So this is where I have access now to the learning components and learning objects that are available to me. And this layout can be configured based on your needs and the type of training you want to deliver. So this specific example, we have quite a simple, neat, easy to use layout where we have four learning objects, a video file, two online learning modules and a final test. I can very quickly see by the visual indicators I'm 25% through the course and I have completed the instructional video. I've also seen that I'm partway through this web-based training so I can click on it to launch it. And now it's launching the learning object, which in this case is one of our uh, pre-made uh, learning objects, SCORM, SCORM learning courses. Uh, and I can choose through here whether I wanna resume, which I will do now or reset. And I'm now basically undertaking the training. So the system itself is tracking my interactions, is tracking my scores, is tracking my statuses, my number of attempts, my time spent, all directly in the system as I explore and undertake the learning module. So coming back to the main to the main dashboard, as I mentioned, this was one example. I can also show you now a more sophisticated example of how a course might be structured. So I'm going to click in now to this new manager training. This new manager training is a more sophisticated and um, enhanced uh, multi-week uh, training program that we have. So if I can click into that one, we have again an access to a course room, but as you can see, it looks now completely different. So this is based on a different template. So we have a different layout available to me and you can have as many different templates and you can set them up yourself as you like to reflect different styles of learning that you, you're gonna to put together. So this particular template has down the left-hand side some key information on the course, also some social interactions, the ability to see the other participants. And in this main syllabus area, it has the learning objects. So I'm gonna collapse all them down so you can see the structure because this has a much more sophisticated structure behind the learning. And this is completely flexible and you can, you can have it at either extreme or, or anywhere in between. So I can see here that it has a pretest, an introduction, some kickoff workshops, some online learnings, all the way through to a final assessment and a feedback. Within each of these folders, there are then different objects. And each of these learning objects could be anything from a score module, a test, a video, simple text and pictures, a PDF document, uh, on the job training checklist, a virtual classroom session. Actually in a blended learning scenario like this, it could be, it could be almost anything that you wanna, wanna put up there. Uh, the user, the idea is that the learner would work their way through. So I can simply open a learning object by clicking on it. And then I get access to this. In this particular example, it's simply some text and pictures. I can navigate back and forth through the different learning objects without getting lost to access the training and complete my learning. When I want to return back to the main syllabus overview, I simply can click this new manager training button together. Uh, it also supports blended learning scenarios. So we have here also a workshop. I'm even allowed to select which of the workshop sessions I, I want to attend. Um, so there's that full support for blended scenarios, whether that be with face-to-face -face or also with integrated virtual classroom sessions. We have the ability behind this also to put uh, learning logic, which gives us some programmability that's behind the learner experience. And that learning logic can do things like uh, enforce the sequencing, that maybe you want to ensure that they complete learn module one before they move on to module two, before they move on to module three. That's all possible with the learning logic but it's also possible to make it adaptable. So in this example, we have the pretest. Um, what we can do is set the learning logic to do different actions based on the results that I have. So maybe we say that if I do, uh, I, I score under 50% in the pretest, 
that I haven't met the prerequisite knowledge for this course and, and we need to cancel the user off this course. Or maybe it's the opposite and we say that um, the user, if they achieve greater than 80%, has really an advanced knowledge and they can skip the introduction and kickoff workshops and move straight to the, to the workshop session. So you have a lot of flexibility there to control the flow of the course. The learner makes their way through the course um, and they can complete each of the objects. Uh, evaluation forms are possible at the end of the, end of the course. And of course, we can also unlock a certificate. So there are a couple of examples of how training can be presented and learning can be presented in a, in a structure, both a very simple structure and a sophisticated structure. And it's down to you and down to the style of learning that you're delivering, how you want to set that up and how you want to make that, make that available. Uh, as well as the, the core learning functions, we have possibilities for on-the-job training checklists. We can create learning paths. So um, that might be, a, for example, a senior management uh, learning path over a course of two years, combining courses together. And we can also combine external training. So courses offered outside the system that might be needed to, to earn or accredit points or accredit hours in the system for particular trainings. Behind everything in the system is the possibility of our job profile and competency framework. So you have the, the possibility to set up these capability frameworks in the system, including the roles that you might have and the skills, competencies that might be associated with those roles. So in this particular example, Abigail is a project manager and to be a project manager, she has to hold all of these skills. And we can see in the overview that the green is what she already holds. The orange is where she has a gap. And what's extra neat is that when you click into this button here, it's also going to allow Abigail to find training opportunities to fill their development gap. So if I click on it now, it takes me to the catalog, it narrows down the search to only the courses that are going to fill my gap, and I can come in full process and then enroll myself directly onto those courses to fill, fill the training gap that I have. As well as role specific competencies, there's also individual competencies. So for example, things like first aid, which might fit outside a certain competency, and we also have certification pathways where it's able to set up these pathways to collect points or hours and, and track those in a visual way towards the goals over a given period. Gamification elements. So we have the ability to set up experience points. So if we click into one of these experience tracks, customer orientation, for example, I can see what my current level is, where I'm challenged to go next, and also my ranking on the leaderboard. This can be both on an individual basis or also on a team basis if you have learning teams. We also have the badges. So we can have milestones to unlock badges in the system, which can be directly displayed on the user's profiles and dashboards within the platform or via our open badges integration can also be taken to external systems. So I'm going to now log out. Um, one other key area that we have or key feature that we have is the ability to set up learning campaigns. So we work with clients now on a regular basis on specific learning campaigns, which integrates then engaging and modern approaches to, uh, to, to provide access to learning on a particular common topic. So this learning campaign here that I've entered is a new entry point into the system. This can also be a sub area of the system. But this one's all around being accountable for, for, your, for your results. Um, so I can come in and I can explore this virtual world as a way to navigate the system and navigate the training. So if I click, for example, on this decide and be accountable, I then get several sub areas of the learning that I might want to access. I have the ability to interact with chatbots in the system to guide me and provide me extra structure around the training and extra context around the training that I'm doing. And I also have the ability to click into certain areas and use as a launching pad to go out off to various training elements, which in itself would be a course room within the platform. So these learning campaigns can be set up within the system for any type of training, and we're working with customers on a regular basis to create that level of engagement for them. I'm now going to log in as an administrator into the platform to show you the difference for the different types of roles. So as I log in as an administrator, you will recognize straight away that I have a completely different interface to the last login. So this is still the same platform, 
But now logged in as an administrator, I have extra functionalities to myself. Actually, in this perspective, I'm not just an administrator. I'm also a learner. I'm also a manager and also a trainer. So I can very quickly switch between the different roles that I have in the system. So the manager role is able to take, take a, a view of my staff. So this also respects normally the organizational hierarchy or the groups that you have inside the system. And I can see a list of my staff. I can view in on an individual basis and check their status. And I can also do functions such as multi-selecting and batch registering a group of users on one or even several courses on a very quick basis. So very, very quick wizard, even selecting the due date and also whether it's optional or mandatory. So as a manager, I have functionality. So it pushes some ownership and responsibility onto the managers and within the organization, also for approvals, having a dashboard to manage those. Similarly, that we have a trainer role in the system and that trainer role allows me as a trainer or facilitator or course owner to view the, the, the courses I'm responsible for, to come in and find key statistics on those and also be able to dive deep into the statistics to find out on my courses, who is really doing what on the courses. So I can see here a list of participants. I can also see from a syllabus view who has interacted with my course. So that course that we loaded up before, I can come in, for example, and see that 15 of the 62 people have now completed the, the free test. And by diving a level deeper, I can even see the really detailed statistics should I want to in terms of how many attempts and scores and time spent on the course. So it gives at the fingertips in real time ability to control that. Uh, we also have with the face-to-face uh, -face workshops, the ability to mark attendance. So there's a, there's a mobile friendly ready, ready version of mobile attendance tracking, which is great for using on tablets. And we also have QR code attendance. So should you wish to have uh, QR codes uh, at the door of a, a seminar, being able to uh, scan and then mark the attendance via QR code. So it helps there with the, with the process for administration. Coming back though to the admin role itself. So we have here the ability to, uh, to perform certain functions, um, create users, manage groups, create content, tests, manage courses, manage overviews. Um, a really simple process, a simple wizard is creating a new online training. So to show you how simple that is, I'm gonna click on the online training wizard, I'm gonna put in um, the name of my course, put in the description, put in the image, this template is configurable to, to capture whatever data field you need. And then I'm able to build out the structure of my course. So I can come in here, for example, put in a couple of folders, and then add in content. So this content is available from the central media library. So I can add in content that already exists and rearrange and drag and drop that to, to make it fit, or using our IMC Express tool, we are able to create content. So I want to show you how that also works. So this tool is designed for subject matter experts to really quickly and easily create, create content uh, without any real technical knowledge. Um, so we could start with a range of, range of different templates, um, but for the purposes of today to show you how easy it is, I'm going to start with a blank. So let's say my first learning module. So I'm going to create, start with a blank template, blank, blank slate for creating a course. It's really designed to be super easy to come in, add in, for example, heading, add in some text, and even as possible, if you have existing training material, to import those materials in here. So Word documents and PowerPoint documents can be imported as a starting point for uh, your training modules. So I'm gonna import here a Word document. This Word document was all about writing clearly. So just some text around being able to write clearly. As you can see, it's, it's, it's brought into the system. I then have the possibility to manipulate that and, and move that around and correct that if I want. But I can also enhance it. So next I wanna add in some media. So I'm gonna add in an image into, into my course. I'm going to find an image here to use. And I'm also going to put in a video. So I have a video available. There is a helper app that allows you from your mobile phone to also 
uh, take videos and take photos and have them automatically, automatically added. So I've started to build the basis of a course. Next, I might want to put in an interaction. So there's several interaction types, flip cards, hotspots, links, and also questions. Uh, As you can see, super, super easy to be able to define what it is. But now I start to build my course and it starts to look like a structure. So this is all the, the creator of the course needs to, needs to know. If I preview that now, I get a view and the system is showing me how the course looks. My first module. So in this writing clearly. In this view, this is all the, the, the system has put this all together itself uh, based on a theme. And you can change that theme really quickly. I'll show you how that works. Coming into the theme section selecting one of the other things that are available, also custom themes. And then if we do the preview again, the whole look and feel of the module is now writing clear look and feel. Um, and now the exciting stuff. So now we get to some of the AI features. So we have several AI features built into this tool to help you even further. For example, we have the ability to generate subtitles. So based on any videos, the system can automatically generate the subtitles by recognizing the speech. Uh, we also have the possibility here to use the AI to expand or simplify or change the text that we have in there. So in this case, I want to expand the text to give it some more substance. I simply click on the expand. The AI works in the background and gives me a new version of the text that I can add or replace the, the current text. Similarly, I might want to come in and use the AI to summarize the course for me. So I can come in here and take the key points, and the AI will then also build the key points form. Um, and next, I've got one question in there, but actually I want a second question now. Again, the AI can help with that. So I can come in, click on generate, and it generates from the available text also a question for me. So very easy support tools for creating, creating content. Um, when I also have a case for multi, multilingual courses, which is one of the big challenges for creating content. And what we have here is also an easy translation. So I can come in here, add in my other languages. So let's add in Chinese and add in also, let's go Spanish. Also choosing my audio voice, so my narrator. And within a couple of clicks, I now have a translated course in Chinese and a translated course in Spanish, including audio narration that I can then publish into my, into my learning platform. So coming back to the system, I've created my course, created my structure, uploaded my contents. I then can come in and add my participants to my course. So add in either groups or individual participants that should take this course. And I'm pretty much then through with creating my training. So really, really quick and easy process to create training. Um, that's one example of one function. There is a lot to the system. It's a really powerful and comprehensive system in terms of the functionality that it does. Also in terms of the configurability possibilities, configuration possibilities. Um, so we have ability to change all the wording, all the roles, ability to set up many, many different notifications. That's always a common question. So hundreds of configurable notifications in the system. And of course, we have uh, extensive reporting so we have 100 plus standard reports available in the system for your operational elements, as well as our analytics module. So our analytics module is powered by embedded uh, Microsoft Power BI. Um, and this provides really detailed insights into the data in the system. So I've logged into one of our dashboards now, the compliance, uh, compliance dashboard. It brings me a visual representation of the data in the system. It also allows me then to drill down. So if I click into this courses with overdue learners, and uh, I then get more detailed information that I might want to filter down by selecting one of the filters or diving then deeper into the next level to find out then the users behind this one, which are, which are overdue. So we have there really a, a drill down approach into the, into the analytics into the system to bring the learning and the, and the data to data to life. Um, and there's a number of different um, ways that this can be, this can be addressed uh, in terms of looking at the data from, from different perspectives and different, uh, different angles. And I think then uh, we are almost up on time. Uh, so hopefully Alexandria, that's been a good, a good insight into the, into the platform. 
So let me share my slides again with our contact details. And uh, yeah, thank you everybody for your attention. And uh, if there are any questions that haven't been handled in the chat, then either myself or Tim would be delighted to, to hear from you at our, at our email addresses that are, that are available here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Russell. And thank you to Allison. She has been answering lots of questions in the chat. That was such a great um, behind the scenes quick preview of all of your platform has to offer. I know that that time went by really quickly. So yes, folks, please do take note of contact information here. Um, if you want to get in touch with the IMC team.